Hi friends! I am testing out a new program that I'd never heard of before. There were a lot of people unhappy about the YouTube editor going away and there was a Google forum where people were sharing ideas and a lot of complaints too. I'm going to test this out and make a video about this silver plate that we polished. I ordered the silver polish from Amazon so I'm about to upload this but I just wanted to show you some of these features. I don't like using editor programs unless they are really intuitive. If I can't figure it out on my own then I don't want to bother. I don't want to use something where I feel like I have to take a college class in order to understand it. That's something I'd like to do down the road but not right now when I'm really sleep deprived and just have so much to do in my life. Maybe when Sabrina's in kindergarten or something that I can put in a lot more time into learning how to do new things. Okay, so this program is called VideoPad Editor and it's by a company called NCH. I also did a week-long trial of Lightworks and I really didn't get anywhere with it. It wasn't long enough to figure it out for me. My son downloaded Vegas Movie Studio from Steam a while back and I had so much trouble with that. I couldn't do something as simple as just dragging the clips around. I just wanted to be able to switch them around or insert a new clip easily. Sometimes I'm in the, I'm in the middle of editing a video and I think, you know what, this needs just one more scene or something like that. And so I will go and add more. That just made it extremely difficult to use. I don't know why it has to be so hard. <laughs> Okay, back to the video I'm editing. You can zoom in on the timeline. That makes it easier to click on any segments that you want to delete. So I could click on this and then just press the delete button. So that's really handy. And it has some features that I love that the YouTube editor doesn't have. Sorry for the shakiness. This is really hard to do with my broken elbow. With the, the YouTube editor, Every time I would make a change, clip anything, trim anything, it would bounce all the way back to the beginning of the video. And that made it so much more time consuming than it needed to be. I think YouTube probably received complaints about things people would like them to fix. But in the end, they just decided it was more worth it to get rid of it. I think the big money makers for YouTube are people who know how to use professional editing software. Professionals aren't using the YouTube editor. Professionals have computers that can handle having so much stuff on their hard drives. Uh, what I've read from a lot of people is that they have Chromebooks and that they don't have any other options except for the YouTube editor, which is now gone. So that's frustrating for a lot of people. I do have a newer computer and it should be able to handle editing. I just have to learn new things. So I could just do a screencast right now, but I'm just not in the mood to do it. <laughs> okay, there's a record button right there. You can do a screencast with that, which is great. You can do some narration. So that's kind of a fun idea to me. This is the home edition. If I like this, then I am going to buy the upgraded version. It does have a small music library. This also has some audio effects. You can fade in and fade out. That's been something I've been wanting because I feel like the music ends too abruptly. And I'm really a perfectionist when it comes to music. If you go to clip, you can go down to add audio from CD or add audio from NCH sound effect library. So let's explore those a little bit. In the sound library, you can go down to music. The choices are blues, classic, dance, rock, and world. Don't expect anything too exciting though. 
I am holding this against my body because my elbow is killing me. It's going to be catchy, but not for a long period of time. This is not belly dancing music. Not at all. Come on. Chill Africa. Fiesta Mexicana. Latino heritage. Oh, I like that. Outback. Rainforest rhythm. Lots of fun things on here. I tend to not like things that are super electronic sounding. Visionary. Okay, what do we have in rock? A change in the weather. Weather is spelled wrong. So it's kind of tame. I like that. Or not. All engines revved. Angst. Little heavy for my taste. No. You know how I like classical music, though. Okay. I can show you music all day. That's enough of the music. There are different title page options. What I can't figure out is where's just a normal blank title page that I can easily add color to. You can add a blank. They have different colors. Um, I would think you could overlay text on it. So I do have some things to figure out on here, but I can make a basic video without going to a lot of pain. Also, when you export, you can just go straight to YouTube. Let's click on YouTube and you can check the box so that it will be private automatically. Sometimes when people upload videos, they don't do it private at first, and you can set it to do that automatically, and I'll get an email that says they've made a video called My Edited Video, and that's how it was with the YouTube editor. Now here's the difference between the storyboard and the timeline. The storyboard is more zoomed in. I think you can add uh, like transitions in this area. I haven't really messed with that a lot. And then here's the timeline. You just press play. Okay, so there it is, it's playing straight through. I didn't have any polish. It's a lot easier to keep track of the time and exactly where you want any clips to be taken out. I have a broken elbow, I'm gonna let Carmen do it. She's gonna show bottom of the place. So if I want to uh, split something, what you wanna do is pause it. Then you click on split. I don't see an option to just kind of nudge it over just to remove a little bit. So 
what I do is I just split it again and then I remove that section. So actually I find this to be less time consuming. I think it'll go a lot faster once I get more acquainted with this. Um, I guess the issue is I really liked uploading straight to YouTube. So I had one less step to do. Um, otherwise I have to find a cord for this and attach it to my computer or upload to YouTube and then download it from YouTube to my computer. <laughs> so that's kind of irritating, but um, eventually I'll get a system going again and I'm going to publish this and I'm going to see how it turns out. First I'm going to add a title or something. Okay, this is a cool thing that I discovered. You can adjust how thick the outline is on the text. I don't remember where this See that? came from. That way it's but more visible. I, realized real silver. I love that. It's silver. And there's an undo button in case because you screw up. I'm going to try adding audio to this just to see how it turns out to see if I can adjust the volume well. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. I would love to hear about any editing programs that you really like. Hi friends, I was beautifying the dining room recently and I don't remember where this plate came from but I suddenly realized it's made of real silver or it's silver plated. I didn't have any polish for it so I ordered these off Amazon. Wyman silver wipes. Because I have a broken elbow I'm gonna let Carmen do it. She's gonna show us how well it works. The reviews were pretty good, so we'll see. Can you flip over the back so we can see the bottom of the plate? Yeah, so this thing right here that says Wallace Silver Plate. Okay, do the honors. Hey, tell me how they smell. Do they smell fumey? Do they smell bad? Kind of smells like toilet cleaner. Okay. We're only going to open one right now. Only one. I don't know how I managed to order two wipes. I guess they came in a two pack. Because I have so much silver. <laughs> hey, we don't want it open. No, we don't want it open. We're going to save that one for later. Ooh, it's working already. Wow. I usually use this for burning candles. Off a lot. Wow. This takes off a whole lot. I wonder if it turns out that this is made of silver, but it's made of gold. No. Oh, the silver wipes are working. It's not made of gold. Yeah. <laughs> I wish it was. That would make it really valuable. Okay, here's the back. We're gonna do a before and after here. It took quite a few of these, but we'll be cleaning it more often from now on. Carmen is now rinsing it in warm water Mom. and then hey, is Mom. going to... Hey, Mom! What? Carmen is running it under warm water now, and then we'll dry it with a soft cloth. And then we'll see how shiny it is. I can see your reflection in it now. Super shiny. Okay, flip it over. Ooh. So beautiful.
useful. Okay, well, this stuff works. Thank you.